So as a lot of you may know, we did a ton of touring on Brompton folding bicycles. I know they're really kind of unlikely bikes to tour on, but they're actually pretty great for what we use them for. And during those years when we toured on Brompton, we learned lots of little tips and tricks. And in this video, I'm going to share one of those tips with you. I'm going to give you four reasons why you should always get the telescopic seat post, even though you aren't super tall. So find out why in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration about traveling with your bike, bike touring, bike packing, bike fishing, and Brompton stuff, then definitely subscribe, this channel is for you. So like I alluded to earlier in the video, if you're new to the Pathless Pedal uh, and don't know our backstory, we actually did a lot of touring on Bromptons. We rode from Oregon all the way up to Montana and did a big loop around New Zealand, all on these really unlikely folding bikes. We brought together all the little bits of knowledge, the tips and tricks uh, that we learned about touring with a Brompton in an ebook called our Unauthorized Brompton Guide. And I thought I'd kind of go back and share some of those tips with you guys on YouTube. All right, so jumping right in. If you're looking for a Brompton and you've figured out most of the specs and you're on the fence about whether you should get the telescopic seat post or not. If you can afford it, if it fits into your budget, here are the four reasons why you should get that telescopic seat post. So reason number one is that it makes it way easier to make your bike smaller. Without telescopic seat post to remove your seat, you have to get a bunch of wrenches and tools and uh, take your, your saddle off. But with the telescopic seat post, you can think of it as almost a quick release for your saddle and you can pop it on and off, no problem. And often in our experience, those couple inches that you uh, shave off by removing the saddle can make the difference between fitting the bike into a small uh, luggage area, like say on the train or on the airplane or in the TSA scanner. So in terms of fitting your bike into these small spaces, having a telescopic seat post is definitely a necessity. So reason number two, uh, speaking of airplanes, uh, we found that it's much easier to convince people at the check-in counter at airports that uh, the Brompton is not a bicycle if it does not have a bike saddle on it. You still have to apply a little bit of Jedi mind trick and call it something else like sports equipment, film equipment, like a dolly or something. And it's way easier to argue that case when it doesn't have bike seat on it. So reason number three is that it's much easier to make micro adjustments on the saddle from that upper clamp. Instead of having to reach down all the way back down to the frame to kind of just fine tune your seat height, uh, you can get a more accurate and easy adjustment with that more accessible clamp. And reason number four as to why you should get the telescopic saddle is that removable seat post portion is about the diameter of a standard seat post. So it plays better with components that are designed to fit standard seat post uh, diameters and not the big uh, oversized one that the Brompton uses. I'll give you one particular instance. Uh, I like to use a Caradice SQR block that's designed to act as a quick release for their saddlebags. And the bands are designed to fit around a standard size seat post and not around the bigger, wider diameter uh, Brompton seat post mast. So there you have it, four reasons why you should always get uh, the telescopic seat post if your budget allows. If you like this Brompton tip, we've got tons more of them in our unauthorized guide to touring on a Brompton. We wrote it years ago, but the Brompton has essentially stayed the same. So the content, all the tips and tricks in there are still good. So how about you guys? Do you use the telescopic seat post on your Brompton? Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.